Meanwhile, back in San Francisco, dozens of protesters tried to block the entrance of Moscone Center. That's where Ryan is. Our Sean Chitness is live at Fifth and Mission. Sean, what's the situation there now? Liz, good afternoon. Well, this was definitely a place to try and get notice so close to Moscone Center as protesters took over the intersection and were here for a few hours. Take a listen to what was happening earlier in the morning. So protesters started right in front of the San Francisco Center shopping center before the Westlake Mall that is along Market and then worked their way down to this intersection, took over the entire area, trying to prevent people from really getting closer to Moscone Center and wanted to try and interact with anyone who was a delegate for APEC. Now we were able to listen in on to what some of the speakers were saying. Here's what they said as the message they want to try and pass on to anyone who was in the area. No to APEC! No to APEC! We know the devastating effects that supposed free trade and neoliberalism has wrought onto the Philippines, and it's no surprise that in Palestine we have watched more and more indigenous land be swept up, given impunity not only by Western governments, but by the corporations that back them. Boo! So the protest was mostly peaceful, no major uh, situations here, but take a look at what happened at one point as a delegate was trying to get through the intersection. Each time someone did that, the protesters would try to block them. And in this particular case, multiple police officers had to surround the delegate just so that they could get through and keep working their way south on 5th. One protester who came up against the police was shoved, fell to the ground, able to get back up. But that was just an example of how people were trying to disrupt the situation here. We also want to show you what the visuals were like in terms of trying to get that message out. You can see that there was a die-in that took over the intersection on the, on the floor of the road here. And there you could see multiple companies that were named. That is not a coincidence as the CEO summit is beginning on this day, the people who were speaking today, making it clear that they want to focus on both the leaders as well as the corporations and the role that they play with all of these trade agreements because they believe that is impacting the individual and the lone worker uh, with those deals currently in place. We should mention that the situation has cleared here, but many of the protesters that were here in the morning say they will be back again together around four o'clock at the Exploratorium where the president is set to speak then.